Very briefly on that, we need yeah. to move on. You, you see, it's ridiculous for a politician uh, and for one calling himself belonging to the ruling party to come here and tell us that we cannot discuss corruption, that we cannot discuss the price of electricity yeah, discuss, and how that connects with honours. Please, that connects with honours that belong to his own party. We are going to discuss it every day because that's what we must do. Accountability is so important. He mentions that I was here talking about swearing in. I never did. But I'm going to talk about it today. On that day, I was talking about the welcoming uh, party Raila. that we were organizing of Raila. I never talked about the swearing in. Now, of course, you will be so excited when I travel. Uh, you know, it's an invasion of privacy, privacy we, for anyone, we, for anyone to, to go to the extent of publishing a boarding pass of a passenger. I'm not a public, uh, I don't uh, hold any public office in Kenya. I can travel anytime I want anywhere. My family, everybody knows it in Canada. So why should I go and visit my wife? Do I need permission from Wamatangi to do that? And if I go for two days, three days, does it matter? Why does it matter to Wamatangi so much when I travel to see my wife? You see, that shows you the level of pettiness. We are discussing things and I never drew when I traveled or did not travel. The, the right honorable, the people's president traveled to Zanzibar. Did they publish his uh, boarding pass? No. A president, uh, or the legitimate president travels everywhere, every day. Do they publish his boarding pass? No. So why did they feel that they had to publish the boarding pass of Miguna Miguna? Because they are scared to death about Miguna Miguna. And when I travel, oh, they are <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> that is why you see that even on this panel, really they are only focused about me. If I was you not wish. anything, they would, not complete, they would completely ignore me, but they can't. So I'm going to deal robustly with these issues. <laughs> and Wamatangi is not going to define for Kenyans but, but what they can or cannot discuss. But, but okay. All right. We need, issues. Issues. We, we, we need to move on to, to, we to have issues. We no publishing house. All right. All right. Jubilee does not do, do any publications. The, every issue, every story, is including the photographs in Amsterdam. With anyone. I mean, media man. I mean, why would, why would we care? Are, are published by, by media houses. All right, thank you. They are published by members okay. of the public when they see him. And, and especially, Ooh, and, and especially the the Miguna, the issue Fantastic. that time was because you had made a lot of... All right, I don't want to... Yeah. Okay, with okay, the, with okay, right, uh, Miguna, yeah, Miguna, yeah, just a moment. Days. And then, then you yeah. just vanish. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's move All right, on. And, and, let's and move on. But it's good to hear this morning. All right, Ma Omatagi, please. Five days only. Oh, he's clarified. You are fretting. Were they? All right, okay, okay. Welcome. Omatagi and Miguna, Miguna, please, let's observe also some decorum. It's not about now, about you. You yes. and uh, and Wamatangi, it's not about names, it's not about people, yes. it's about issues that we want to discuss this yeah. morning. Mm. First of all, let, let's move on. And uh, of course, we played a clip but of when where. When you hold public office, we must name you. Right, that's a given. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, let's t tackle the issue of January the 30th, because I, I think that is big. Because yeah. you say the po we cannot uncouple uh, politics from the economy. But we've seen so far, and even businessmen, they've been crying foul on how politics has adversely affected the, the economy as well. Absolutely. Come to January the 30th, and of course we'll go back maybe to the same cycle uh, as well. I want to begin uh, with Jacoyo uh, uh, for that matter. Are you really for this particular swearing in the first place? Well, I am of a different debate, Diba. I, I think this country has to figure out where we are. Uh, whether it's swearing in on the 30th or whether it's dialogue, but I think there's something very responsible in our politics uh, where we are today. Uh, I, you know, the Jubilee folk, they know. Number one, there was an election in this country on 8th of August. Which election was a sham? Then there was another election another sham election on the 26th, where Jubilee tried to even steal from itself. It just didn't add up. So you are at a scenario where the, 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 the country is not peaceful. The economy is not moving forward. What would stop responsible leaders from saying, in 2007, elections didn't work. In 2013, they were stolen. In 2017, they were stolen twice. Why can't we sit down and say, this is how we want us to move, so that each year when we do an election, we don't end up 
with uncertainty. That to me should be the simplest thing. I, I mean, I, I would basically uh, talk to Uhuru directly because now I'm on national television to stop the shenanigans, stop the sideshows, put all and sundry together. Let us see how this country will move forward. I think it's a bigger debate, Dibal, than what you are asking. And I have said on this show mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. that this country has only two options. Let us talk our way out of the mess or talk peacefully how to live separately. Because where I come from, what I see, I see uh, uh, the youth who have decided to move on. They don't want to be part of Kenya. We have to talk them into becoming but still staying as part of our nation. We have to go out of our way. If you don't do that, I do not see the Kenya that we had before August the 8th <clears throat> as being the same. And you will not force <coughs> Kenya. I can tell you that for free. Right. Uh, let, let's say from Haman Manyora will come the to you. The swearing in. Yeah, we will, yeah the swearing in. <laughs> Haman Manyora, the swearing in, uh, the date uh, has been set. I, 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 I really share the sentiments uh, expressed by my friend Jacob Medio that something so, ought to be done. But I think what is happening is, uh, is about the swearing, you may think I'm diverting, I'm going, but it's just about the swearing. I think the president is gambling. <coughs> the president knows there is a problem in the country, that that problem ought to be sorted out. But the pre president reckons these fellows are drowning. If I give them a few more uh, months, maybe even weeks, they will become irrelevant. He knows NASA's options are becoming limited by the day, which is true. And therefore, he's gambling with, let me wait. <coughs> so that if there's any talk, I'll be talking to people who, will become, who have undergone self-destruction. They will have been vanquished into irrelevance. And dealing with them will be much easier. I'm calling it a gamble because these kind of things we are allowing to take place, like swearing in, which are really long on symbolism, but almost empty or short on substance. They may look to be very, actually even, even comical things, if I call them, laughable things, of no substance, of no consequence. Yet, cumulatively, you have all these kind of things going on in a country that is on, on edge, it is really dangerous. So it's a bad gamble on part of the president. If I were the president, I would sit down with NASA now. Because at the end of the day, I don't think they can destroy him in that city. But if he lets things sort themselves out, and just to wind up my, my, my comment is this, and the president had better know it. In this country, we are increasingly, increasingly getting to a point where the leaders may not control the people. I gave this example in some place I was giving a talk. For example, supposing in the run up to 26th election, October election, President Uhuru Kenyatta said, I've had enough of this, let me go home. Let other people take it. Do you think his followers would have accepted? No. There would have been chaos in this country. Equally, Raila may not be as much in control of his followers as we might think. And we are getting into a very dangerous situation. Because there are two things in NASA, for example. There is Raila and the other leadership. But there are also hardliners, like General Miguna Miguna, David Ndei, Magaya Magaya. These people resonate with the followers of NASA. And then there are the NASA followers that Jacob Midi was saying. They are not willing to move on. And these are young people, and they are dangerous. For any country, it is that part of the demography of any country that always causes chaos in a country. So I think this swearing in must not be dismissed by anybody. Much as it may not amount to much, really, if you look at it. But it must never be dismissed because these are the kind of things that can destroy a country. All right. Maybe we need to get also clarification from Meguna Meguna. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yeah, the, you, you are not in NASA, but you're part Dibal, of the, of the NRM. I'm the general and I'm the head of operations in NRM. And I will tell you as a fact that there will be a swearing in. <laughs> whether Manyora calls it, whatever he calls it, whether Yakoyo talks about dialogue, whether our friends are laughing, we will swear Raila in on January 30th. As who? If Raila even has no option. As who? Do you understand? 
and I know he's watching, President Uru Kenyatta is watching. <laughs> I'm telling you on national TV that Raila Molodinga has no option. He will be sworn in whether he likes it or not. We are going to swear Raila in. Raila is going to be the people's president, not out of his choice. But because I have the server results of August 8th, 2017, these are the figures. Raila Odinga got 8,634,761 votes, 53%, against Uru Kenyatta's 7,675,162 which is 47%. Now let me tell you this. If the swearing-in was comical, was only symbolic, had no meaning, we would not have the Jubilee Attorney General threatening us of treason. We would not have had 18 people killed on a walk and a, just a, a travel between the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and the CBD when Railudinga returned to Kenya in November. If it was just empty and meaningless, we would not have this discussion and we would not have the American uh, puppy called Godek every day talking about dialogue, dialogue. Let me tell you this, and this the country should listen to carefully. There will be no dialogue until Raila Odinga is sworn in. Because dialogue will only happen between two presidents. It will not happen between Raila Odinga, the ordinary citizen, and Uhuru Kenyatta, the jubilee president. It will happen between Raila Odinga, the people's president, and the jubilee president. Then you will have a structured discussion about Kenya. That must happen. Before then, there will be no dialogue. This nonsense about dialogue, when the person who stole elections has not acknowledged what he has done, has threatened everybody into submission or surrender, the people that are now talking, Manyora was talking like me just a few weeks ago. Now he has made a, a dovetail <laughs> and because he has been given a, a position of, I don't know, commentator to the NTV. I'm not like him. I will stand on the principle of justice. So what are you talking about? Let me just wait. finish. Uh, yeah. Because Be Manyora is talking on behalf of the NTV. Remember, you introduced him yeah, but as your in-house something. He has been our so resident now, analyst. But, but before the election and after the coronation of October 26th, he was talking my language. He even released videos on YouTube <laughs> talking my language. <laughs> now, somehow, you have managed to cage him. But I am uncageable because I'm a general. <laughs> so listen to me. I'm talking to my forces. All right. We're the NRM soldiers in Kenya should get, seconds to go. should get this. The NRM soldiers in Kenya should get this. Rail Udinga will be sworn in on January 30th. We will have a legitimate president elected by the people of Kenya. This legitimate president will then have discussions if, if the Jubilee president so wishes. Thank you. If he doesn't want to talk to our president, yes. then the country will decide where we are going. And that will not be announced. Revolutions are not uh, announced, are not broadcast. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay. Right of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. right of 30 Half seconds, then we go to... to okay. Yes. Okay. You know... Uh, I'm a little worried when people are respect like Meguna Meguna. <laughs> I'm very worried. When people are respect like Meguna Meguna, uh, think that uh, if you have a certain position, it can only be because somebody has seen you privately. <laughs> Meguna, like you, nobody can see me. They have tried, and that's why I'm still Manyora. Nobody can. In I this country, I uh, anybody, <laughs> include any, if, can, if you no, believe, NTV can, has no how can I can TV? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a very independent minded person. I speak my mind in the process. I may have offend a few peoples, but let me say on this TV and for the purpose of Miguna, everything I say is born out of my intellect and my love for this country. Only those two that I am capable of thinking. Thank you. And that I love this country. Thank you. So uh, that's how you understand everything I say. Thank you. Thank you. Correct. All right. So Miguna comes with this particular evidence from the August uh, yeah, uh, election server. 
uh, that is from the IBC, and it says these are the, the figures. And as far as we're concerned, of course, these particular yeah, figures that we had, you know, the court overruled it. I mean, of we... No, no, no. The, the court only nullified the declaration yeah, 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 of Uru Kenyatta as president. Yeah, it, it's nullified. But yeah. then the court also ordered that the IBC opened the servers. They have not opened up to today. I would like the IBC to come with their servers and we compare with mine. And then they can tell me their figures are different from mine. But until those servers are open, this is all you have. So the question will be then, are we using those figures yes. as a rhyme and reason to actually swear in Rai Lodinga? Correct. These are the legitimate results. All right. Let, let's say from... Uh, These are the legitimate uh, results. Those are the know, legitimate uh, results. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my time also. The, the, the courts you know, nullify this particular result? No, you know, uh, yeah. never saw it. Uh, fantastic. Let's hear yeah. from uh, you know, Senator... Dibal, you know, Aaron Dibal on... Uh, I think on 8th or uh, 7th of December last year, 2017, NASA, uh, NASA as a political coalition had a parliamentary group. And in the parliamentary group, they had the party uh, leadership together with uh, MPs who are the real representatives of Kenyans voted into office by NASA supporters to speak on their behalf. Not imposters and TV panelists, you, you know, and... Uh, people who pretend to say we are speaking on behalf of Kenyans. Which Kenyan has given you a mandate to speak on their behalf? You know, those people sat down in Manzoni. Those people sat down in Manzoni and they told Raila Odinga to his face that when we enlisted to join NASA, we were joining a serious formation, not this charm of a militia that you want to take us. And that is why they put out the December 12th proposed plan to swear, to swear him in. And he was told clearly that we listen to our people, the people who voted us into office, and they keep on telling us that tell Raila Odinga that we love him so much, we listen to his vision, we voted for him, but we respect our constitution, which says what if you're not voted in by uh, the mass, 50, 50 plus one uh, percentage of Kenyans, you don't become the president, and we have accepted to be governed by whoever is in charge. We may not agree with the, the final results. Those are the real and the genuine people who can speak on behalf of the NASA followers. Leave alone se self-imposed generals who come here with river road documents to tell us that these are results. You are not declared president of the Republic of Kenya based on uh, some fishy documents that are being bandied around and you are told that so-and-so is being sworn in because of this. This constitution is what governs us. This is what keeps us yeah, as a country. Fishy here. Not, I cannot yeah, even, I cannot even look. Okay, because just let constitutionally, it, let please. constitutionally, for one to be declared president, you have to be declared by IBC. Not some documents from God knows where. You come and show us on national TV and say, we are going to declare you president. I can remind you that deep, not very far from here, even in Kampala, BCJ was, decla was declared by his supporters. And people who are angling for jobs for him when he becomes president, like Miguna Miguna here wants to do. But on every other weekend, despite him having been thrown in, in the middle of Kampala, he spends his weekends in police cells. We have no problem. They can go ahead and swear in Ray Laudinga. Who has refused that? Go ahead and do it on 30th. But I can assure you, we can even take a bet that on that 30th of January, there is nothing that li like that that is going to happen. Eh? Eh? Be assured. <laughs> you promised us here that on December 12th, you'll swear in Ray Laudinga. No, 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 no. Did it happen? I never did. On this, this January 30th. Oh, okay, let, let, let just... I never did. Let him have Will his you head. Not board let, a finish. Again? Yes, I let never him finish. Did. Okay, let's hear from Haman Manyura before we come to you, uh, Kimono Watangel. I'll add you 30 seconds that I also gave to Haman Manyura. Uh, uh, I think, uh, honestly speaking, the only thing that I know of is that there's a problem in this country. And the other thing is that we need to address that problem. And you do not address that problem by running away. And if you are the President of the Republic of Kenya, whether legitimate or not, but constitutionally elected President, as Uhuru Kenyatta is, you should be the first on the list of people who must do something about it. And therefore, it is in that light that I'm saying nobody, and especially the president, should allow these kind of things to go on, including the so-called swearing in. Irrespective of what value or benefit or however somebody wants me to define it, that should not be allowed to go on if we love this country. That's what I'm saying. It's as simple as that, to appreciate there is a problem. These elections were not conclusive, that people cannot move on. There are many people who are not moving on. They will not move on. You may subdue them. 
you may force them to call you anything and do things, but they do not agree with you that there were elections that were concluded. No country should allow itself to be in a state such as that. It is a dangerous state to be in. Right. That's what I mean. One more time, please. Yeah. Well, um, um, uh, you know, Dibal, when we came for the debate, I had no idea that it was going to turn into this kind of, uh, you know, <laughs> in, into a humor expose. <laughs> it's in the of I mean, really, because, <laughs> you know, I think uh, we have had quite a number of interesting things here this morning, especially from the general. <laughs> you know this, <laughs> because you know I, I'm 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 now first-hand learning that that the general has his own language, <laughs> because I had uh, you know he's accusing my friend here, <laughs> professor, of not speaking his language anymore. <laughs> but uh, you know also Dibal, you know I, I think uh, I would want to say two things first, and this is really. I think important for Kenyans to understand. You know, in political leadership, I've been there now for a while, and I've come to understand this fairly clearly. You know, we've got the first strata of, of elected leadership, you know, where you have uh, presidents and other people and uh, the rest of us. Then you have the middle strata of, of, of those where you have the uh, political wannabes, the losers, uh, pretenders, and all that lot here, and uh, now the, the, the ones who fund the fire. And then downwards, the second, st that strata, you've got what you call the followers. Or oh, that's why you have the diehards and the <laughs> die tomorrows and so on. And I'll tell you, part of the biggest problem you find as you are discussing in politics is that middle strata. Because no matter what you do there, many times at the front, in the, at the top, in the leadership, this middle will always try to mess things up. And you know why? Because most of the time, they have an agenda that they keep to themselves. And I'll tell you, and tell Kenyans this morning, when you listen to some of the talk by, for example, uh, Miguna here, it, it gets to worry you. But only if you don't understand it. Because what you need to understand is that Miguna and the likes, when he speaks the way he speaks, is because he's got a mentality, a mind, and an intention that he has. One, ask yourself seriously, and if, 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 if Raila, as, he's, as Miguna was saying, that Raila is listening, I, I don't know whether he does, if he's watching or, or is listening, I would ask him one thing. What, what, what can he do so that these guys can stop making him look so cheap? Because, I mean, this guy has invested a whole lifetime in his political career. But, but at the tail end of it, it is being made so cheap by people who want to cash in on it to make a name. And that is the fact. Because, you know, ask yourself for sure. Uh, you, you heard Meguna saying that uh, we have these documents waving a blue, a blue folder here. And that blue folder, there are some untitled documents that he's calling results. Now, you have a general who has turned into a returning officer. And, 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 and from, 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 from a returning officer, he said that IBC refused to open his server, so he went and opened his server. He had a server. That he, and, and those are the results he's waving. And saying to somebody who has invested all those years in politics, and that's why I would say, you know, no matter what they tell Manyora or Jaco and other millions of Kenyans who can now, or who think, you know, at a higher skill than that, that really, for sure, uh, Dibal, if you went and waved that document to a crowd, say that these are the papers upon which we are saying we are going to swear in somebody, you are, you are making that, you, you, you are killing the legacy of that person. Me, I'm not, I'm not you know, a Raila supporter, but I'm a Kenyan who knows who loves that, the, 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 that, that yes. the guy <laughs> has had his, he's had his <laughs> politics, he's had <laughs> his time, he wants to leave the political arena, but he wants to leave with his head, his head held high, like an old man now who has served his time to go and retire. But if he, if he allows that his legacy be, 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 be succumbed, be, be usurped, be, be, be munched, be made use of and, 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 and capitalized on by okay. the likes of, of Omiguna and all the others who want to keep on talking about us swearing in, they want to keep on talking about fake results. They want to keep, so that tomorrow, 
tomorrow when Miguna comes to run for the seat of governor of Nairobi again, now he can comfortably go to uh, Kibera, go to the other places. And remember, you remember what I said? You remember what I said? <laughs> yeah, I said we are going to... Uh, then he can use that for as, right, as, 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 a, as a political question. Let's say from so, well, so, 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 so le le let us... Le let me finalize by saying this because you said you had me 30 seconds. 30 seconds from now. <laughs> From now. I'm counting. Start. <laughs> you know, you know, we owe this country better than we are giving it. And it does not matter whether it is Jacob Midiwo, whether it is Miguna Miguna, whether it is Raila Odinga, whether it is Uhuru Kenyatta, whether it is myself. We owe this country better. But more so, he says we must call out people for there. We also must call out the pretenders, the ones who want to burn the country and mess the country so that they can cash in on their small political dreams. Let them walk the journey the way Raila walked it, the way Uhuru walked it, the way Kibaki walked it, the way Moy walked it for Thank 24 you. years. And then after that time, they can claim, over. Thank a, you. A, 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 but, but you cannot want to, to, to make a political name overnight by, by, by spewing hell Jacoyo. and doom. Thank you. I want, to say, I want to say three things very quickly. First one, uh, Senator Chiriot, mm -hmm. you are trading on very dangerous ground. Number one, you know, you and your people oppose that constitution you are waving around. You don't believe in it. But we accept it. No, you have not. You have not. That's why you are in government mm -hmm. where the constitution even gives powers to that document mm -hmm. and puts responsibility on thieves personally. And they are still stealing and they're in the same government. They're looting, basically. Mm -hmm. You're folk. Number two, Pamatangi. Let me tell you this. What you see when you go back, when you retreat, tell Senator Cheriot that this war cry, when you say nothing will happen, you are walking into a hole you will never get yourself out of. I'm telling it to you properly, and you are a young senator. Meet me going halfway somewhere. Number two, number two, my friend Miguna. You guys are the generals. For us, you know, we are now surviving on the streets. But you are, not cons you, you are not giving hope. When you tell us today, resist this, do that, then tomorrow you are saying a different thing. You know, human beings don't think like that. Tell us what you want. We will follow. We are your supporters. But when you keep telling us a new thing every day, you must know patience will run out. Lastly, Ediba, I want to tell my friend Ramatangi that the Raila of 88 was less popular than the Raila of January 2018. This Raila you are playing with, if you don't allow him to participate in, the, in directing this country, you are in for a root shock. Because you have said, Kibaki was there for following. Uhuru was there. Raila was there. Uhuru hasn't been anywhere. Thank he you. hasn't been. Yeah, He's on a silver plate. My final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, just before also you begin, uh, because you you came with this document and yes. you've alluded also to uh, what we're discussing uh, before on corruption, yes. that name, name calling. I would love to Not know. Name calling. No, no, no. Just, you, you say we should Don't actually. Call it name calling. No, 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 I, no, I no. Get a, a offended when the media. Try to couch that when we know. Just let just just give my time. I finish. Two case more than ten. Court to yes, more than ten yes. times for corruption. But just let me finish my statement yes. so that you get my 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 my, my thought processes are through as well. But you know, name calling is a bad word. Okay, look, okay. I want you to tell us then where did you get this particular document? I got it from the server. Ja, ja, server. Ja, yes. Yes, I you got, got it. You got it from. No, no, just a moment. Yes, you, I got it. All right, just a moment. You yes. got it from a server. Yes. There was a court order that yes, that IBC should open. Yeah. No. Yeah. You yeah, disobeyed. I disobeyed by the IBC. Not true. The court order. <coughs> I've, not even, I've not even finished my statement. Just give me but time. This guy I is talking here. Uh, yeah, please, just give me. Yeah, I, I want to just get clarification. Yes. The there is this the particular class. order from the court. Yes. You are not party of this particular, you know, cases that were going within the court. Yes. First what of is all. your question? My question is: So, yes. whom gave you this particular document? Can you give us the names? Listen to me, my friend. Whoever is whispering in your ear must know this. 
No one is whispering on my ear. Let me tell ear. you this. No, let me no, answer. No one let is on my ear, please. No, no. Just a moment. Just, no, 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 let me. Am I going to answer? Okay. Can, no, no, no. Ask the question. And, and, and generals don't give evidence. Please, please. Can I answer? They only are All right. You don't want me to answer you. Okay. Just let him answer. Answer. Let him answer. Listen to me, Debal, and listen carefully. Just give him his time, please. There is a constitutional right to access to information. Yes. I have a constitutional right to access information. How I access information is not your problem. I have accessed it. There is also a constitutional right to protect whistleblowers. Those who gave me the information are not going to be mentioned, and they are fully protected by law. That is your answer. Can I now execute on what I came here to execute based on what they have said. <laughs> I have to respond to what that's they have said. No, 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 no. I, 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 is there I, another question? No, yes, no, other question. Uh, ask so, another question. No, no, well, no, I can no, profess my ignorance on this. No, 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 just a moment. I just, yes. I can profess my ignorance on this and say. Ask another question. The question would be, mm. if there's a court process on it as well, yes. uh, how would you really get that access to this particular document? No, because you're I know, not a lawyer, therefore you don't know. Let me teach you law now. Now <laughs> we are getting into law again. Because you asked a legal question and you're not a lawyer, so let me teach you. Yeah, just law. clarify. I profess my ignorance. I don't, don't really understand. There is a valid live court order right now yes. against the IEBC to give access to the server so that we can mine the information and do whatever we need to do with it legitimately, legally. Correct? Mm -hmm. That order has not been obeyed by the IEBC and Chebukati. They are in contempt of the court order. The court never bothered about its order, which is alive, which has not been obeyed, but they went ahead and presided over coronation without regard to an order which they have not, which the IBC has not obeyed. IBC, I can tell you, uh, following October 26th coronation, should not have been allowed to speak in court until they obeyed the order. Now, as a legitimate uh, exercise of my right, and as a keen observer of the law, I decided to go and retrieve the information that the IBC has not retrieved. And I did so. Now, the only way anybody can challenge this document is by going to the IBC and saying, look, there is an order that you give access to the server. Can you give access or can you produce information in that server so that we can compare with the general's document? To see if the general is lying, they can't, because this is the legitimate thing. So we have to be a country governed by the rule of law. I have the results. I want Gidu to arrest me today so that we can face each other in court. He can produce his results, I will produce mine, and the court can authenticate which one is authentic. They knew that I had the results, that's why they detained me on December 17th when I was going to swear Ayla in, in Kilifi. On December uh, 17th, Raila was allowed to go to Kilifi, Sand and Sand. All the other people, including Joho and D, all the rest of them, including Orengo, were allowed. But I was detained on the road. Why? Because I was going to swear him in. Why didn't they arrest me? <laughs> I, I'm saying it publicly because it is a fact. I was on the way going to swear Raila in when they detained me on the road for four hours until the meeting was over. If they thought I was going to commit a crime, they would have allowed me to proceed, conduct the swearing in, then arrested me and charged me with treason, then taken me to court. Why didn't they do that? Because they don't want to confront this document. But they must. They will. Because I'm not retreating. And the NRM soldiers are not retreating. All right, so, so now, can I, can I then respond to their comments? Uh, uh, briefly, we're winding up. I want we'll to give you, we'll respond give you to their comments. And this will be also your final uh, remarks yes. as well. Uh, Please. Senator Chariot was not in um, Manzoni and is not a member of NRM and is not a member of NASA. Therefore, he cannot speak about what was discussed there. Uh, and so his comments regarding what was said in Manzoni and whatnot are irrelevant. Now... Raila is not BCG. Anybody dreaming that Raila is a BCG is delusional. Raila controls three quarters of this country. They stayed away from going to the polling stations because he withdrew from the, that coronation exercise. Anybody deluded enough not to understand that will realize too late 
that the only president we have is Raila Odinga, not Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, Uhuru is not a constitutionally elected president, as uh, Professor Manyora said. He said that, that Uhuru was constitutionally elected president. It was not. The coronation exercise on October 26th was not legitimate. It was not credible. It was not a verifiable election. And many parts of the country did not participate. Now, number four. The last one. No, one does not become president because of declarations. Because you remember, even in Honduras, the opposition party led. Then the Electoral Commission went into hiatus for 21 days. Then woke up and declared that they had lost. Just because there is a declaration does not mean somebody has won an election. Okay, let, let's leave it and at that. Now, lastly, uh, Jean Mary Seroni, one of the politicians I respect, the late Jean Mary Seroni, one of the best politicians that came out of the Rift Valley, said in Parliament as deputy, uh, deputy speaker that you don't substantiate the obvious. Anyone who now wants to say, substantiate this, substantiate this, because they want to run away from the obvious, will get the only answer that I'm going to give them. The NRM, and by the way, I have not made any declaration that I've retracted. Separate NRM from NASA. NASA has its own problems, NRM does not. I have never retracted anything, and I'm not going to retract it. Take it to the bank. Thank you. Rayludinga will be sworn in. Thank you. We'll leave it at that with you. Let's hear from uh, uh, Senator Cherry Ott. Well, uh, Dibal, you know, sometimes it's interesting listening to the self-declared general of NRM and the proclamations he make each and every morning with so much finality that you wonder, really, Miguna Miguna, are you serious and certain about these things that you, you tell us? Or Just wait it's see. a make-up of a show because we'll be here. The question, you know, when you speak and you say you're going to sue in Raila Odinga, as who? Wait and see. As who? Wait who see. gave you the powers to sue in anyone? That's why I think it will I'm be... I'm a commissioner it will be, I can't even swear you. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him have his uh, head know, up, please. That's why it will be a complete waste of um, the millions of Kenyans who are watching us. It will be a waste of their time to respond to some of these things because I, I take them to be... Uh, glorious words coming out of uh, Miguna's mouth for, to make up our, our morning. But we know the truth about what happens. We do accept that there are challenges in our country. There are things that we need to, to face. And I accept your challenge, uh, Honorable Jacoyo, that as a young leader, uh, wonder with the fellow young people who wake up each and every morning questioning where do they go because they do not have jobs, they cannot place food on their table. Those are the issues that I want to bother my mind uh, with and see. Uh, what is it that you can do? Speak about it, speak truth to uh, those that are in authority, and represent them even on, on shows like this. And in the weeks uh, that uh, keep on coming, every other now, uh, now and then, those are the things that I want to in, uh, involve myself in. Otherwise, this issue of hacking into servers and uh, finding results, you know, good. I almost uh, asked you, uh, in the same server, what were the results for Nairobi? Let's not go there because you know, you know, yeah. Let's wind up. No, 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 no. no. Uh, please, no, please, please, please. Okay, I know. Yes, yes. Them. All right. Let's hear from Hamon Manyora. Deba. Yeah. I'm, I'm reading. Really I'm reading, really I'm really reading, really I'm reading really social media, and some people seem to be agreeing with me. Guna that Manyora now is. The Manyora has changed. You've been bought. I've been things. Listen here. I can say it on national television. My love for Aila is almost unmeasured and unmatched. I respect the guy. Unlike many people like Wamatangi, I know Raila's contribution to this country is unmatched. And I'm also sure he would make a wonderful president. That doesn't, however, stop me from seeing certain facts when they are presented to me. That we went through an election, shambolic as it was. The one of eighth was invalidated by the Supreme Court. No, it wasn't. The election, no, let me just make my point. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, but sometimes lawyers think uh, they, 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 they don't know that law is just English and common sense, a lot of it. Now, okay, just give him his head, let him wind up. We are winding up. The Supreme Court declared the elections null, invalid, and whatever it is. That's what we know. You may know something different. Uh, yes, Luna, we gave you yes, time. Yes. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 just let me finish. Just you can only invalidate the election of somebody. So they invalidated, they invalidated the, election. the election of Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah. 
We went to an election on the 26th. A lot of us know there was so much that didn't go right in that election. But the courts upheld that election. Is that right? After that, he was duly sworn in. Thank you. These Thank are you. constitutional processes. They do not, however, mean that the president is legitimate. Thank you. We leave so it at issues that. Issues of legitimacy are different. Thank you. Thank you. I'm aware. Kibano Matangi, we've got 30 seconds to wind I'm up, open please. to that. Amanda yeah, sure. the gun.